Welcome back, in today's video I'll be showing you methods to try and fix games crashing or freezing in Windows 10 or 11. I'll be showing you in Windows 11, but you will still be able to follow along in Windows 10 too, and if you have any questions then let me know. Let's get into the methods. The first method will be to double check the system requirements of the game and the specs of your PC or laptop. If your game is crashing, it could be because you do not meet the minimum requirements. This will likely be on the website of the Apple program or the store page that you got it from. You can check your PC specs in the About Your PC section of the settings. You can search for About in the search bar or look for this option in the system settings. Alternatively, you could go to PCGameBenchmark.com or a similar site and input your PC specs and the game you're playing to check here as well. Next, it's worth updating your game or checking for updates to see if there are any. This can be done either within the game itself, in the store page that you got it from, or online. This will differ depending on each game, but it could help to fix any problems that are causing the crushing or freezing. Next, it's worth updating your graphics card drivers. This exact method will differ depending on the graphics card that you have. If you're not sure how to update the drivers, I have a full tutorial showing that. Click the card on screen now to watch it. You can follow it if you're on Windows 10 or 11, just make sure that if you have to choose your operating system when getting the files, that you choose the one you have. The next thing we'll try is to focus on other software. Again, this will be dependent on your exact setup, but it is worth running the game by itself without anything else running. Software such as antivirus could be causing the problem, so it could be useful to temporarily disable it and then run the game. You can check for background apps that could be causing the problem by searching for and clicking on Task Manager in the search bar. Have a look in there for any apps that might prevent your game from loading. You don't need to do anything unless you know that they are definitely causing it. Also check that your game doesn't need any extra software or setup to work. Next, if you can load up your games, it might be a good idea to lower either the resolution or graphics settings. In your game, there should be a graphics settings page and you could lower everything to medium settings to see if that helps even if it is just a short-term fix. Now I would recommend thinking back to when the problem first appeared. If it has only just started to crash or freeze, perhaps there was a change you made. Maybe you installed some new software, changed the game settings, or got some new hardware. Either way, if the timing of that caused the crashing problems, then this could be the cause. Try and revert things to how they were to check if this was the case. The next method is similar to the last and it is to remove any mods that you have or have just added that could be causing the problem. Mods can often cause problems with games as they become outdated quickly. Try running your game with no mods and if that helps, start adding them one by one to find the mod that is causing the issue. Next, a simple system restart could help if you haven't done this already. A restart could help refresh a lot of the settings on your PC and it could help fix the problem. It's up to you if you want to try this now or at the end of the video, but if you do restart now, when you return to the video, we'll have a few more solutions to try. The next method is to try updating Windows. You can do this by searching for Windows Update in the search bar, and then by clicking on Check for Updates. This could help fix the problem if it is caused by Windows itself. If you think your game is crashing because your PC is slow, then click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you ways to speed up your PC. That should help your game improve its performance as well and could stop it from freezing or crashing. The next method will focus on just Windows Store games, so if your game isn't from the Windows App Store, you can skip this. We'll try using the Windows Apps Troubleshooter first. To do this, search Troubleshoot in the search bar, and then click on the option called Troubleshoot Settings. In here, click on Other Troubleshooters and now scroll down towards the bottom and there should be a troubleshooter called Windows Store Apps. Run that and see what it says, it might recommend some actions to take. Next, it might be helpful to research your exact issue or error and game. If there are any forums relating to the game you are having problems with, this would be a good place to ask this question, as they should be in a better place to help. A quick fix could be to ensure that when you run your games you have an active sound device, like headphones or speakers, connected and enabled. Some games might not work properly with no sound device connected. The final method I have is to uninstall and then reinstall the game. Make sure you back up any saves, game files or settings before doing this. To uninstall a game in Windows 10 or 11, search for Add or Remove Programs in the search bar, and then find your game on the list and right click on it, or click on the three dots icon and choose Uninstall. You can now reinstall the game from where you got it in the first place. Unfortunately, those are all of the methods I have. 
As always, I will keep the description updated with any new solutions I find, and if any of you find a fix in the future, then it would be great if you could return to the video and post it in the comments to help others. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you 10 easy ways to improve the sound quality on your Windows PC. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below, and if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.